is going on YouTube. Figured I'd start making videos again because I'm just like really bored with all this corona going around and uh, being laid off and all. So it's been a while since I posted because uh, there's been a lot of nosy people in my family who just like to judge instead of uh, helping or showing that they care. So I really just keep all my personal life on the down low, if you know what I mean. But I figured screw it because it's something I really love to do and uh, I enjoy doing it. So why not, right? I had to go get my morning coffee and now we're gonna start the day. Got a couple toys I can announce. Got a new sled, way better than that last piece of crap. I moved back to my hometown. Um, I got another little toy, real cheap, my buddy helped me get. Got it going, got it running. It's mostly for my kids that fun on in the summertime. But I mean, whatever, dad can still jump on it. Yes, I am driving, but both my hands are free. Paying attention to the road. I already did some fishing, ice fishing. Did some sledding. <laughs> did some dirt biking. Fixed my car. I didn't record nothing. Nothing. Didn't record nothing. So now I got all this footage I can shoot. So why not let's shoot it? So why not shoot it? Gives me something to do. And it gives you folks something to watch. Okay. Gotta love when the coffee shop's like five seconds away. So here is the PW80. It was all white with a black tank. You can see it's chipping again, whatever. It's not perfect, but I repainted it. I cleaned the motor, all the dirt out of the motor, all the air fins and everything. So the motor got more air. I put different bars on. It had crappy bars on. Um, it's got the shock relocation. So it sits way higher. I'm gonna take that back out for when my kids get on it and ride by themselves. It's pretty sweet though. Pretty sweet. I added some stickers. Bunch it. Don't be a wimp. Just kidding. I, uh, actually, this thing takes straight gas and two-stroke under the seat, but people were telling me to delete the oil pump and run the line from the oil pump straight back into the tank where the oil goes instead of just totally disconnecting the pump because it'll seize up and that's not good. So if anyone wants to know how to do that, let me know and I can make a video on how I redirect the line from the pump Instead of going to the carb, it's back to the reservoir container. Here's a quick pick of what it looked like before. And here's obviously it now. It starts up. Guy pretty much gave it to me. Made a post on Kijiji. Even showing this bike is going to... Probably caused drama in my family because I think I paid 10 grand for the damn thing. I'm not going to tell you how much I paid because I pretty much stole the damn thing. Plus my buddy helped me out. So anyways, there it is. Show you the sled. So now I'll show you the sled.
So here's the sled. If I can get a good, if I can get a good angle on it. Come on, jump out. Probably not. Here, I'll just do that. There it is. But it has a problem, of course. I seem to always have problems with my toys. Totally did it all up. I uh, did every bearing, the skid. I uh, it's been sitting for four or five years. When I changed all the fluids, got it all ready to go. Changed a lot actually. And then started getting that leaky seal on the head. I don't know if you heard that popping and spitting, but that's because it's lean, because it's getting air through that leaky sealant. Sealant, cheese, seal, sealant. Oh my god. So, she's leaking right here on both sides. So, that's what I gotta fix. Other than that, she runs great. You heard it. Like, what, three poles? Three poles, and she fired right up.